Hey, hello everyone. And here after comments under my previous video, I decided to do a little bit more detailed analysis of the Nakamichi DR10 deck. It sounds like incredible. Its records really, really cool. I believe I, I, I compare it with uh, different uh, DC and like it's a little bit on the colder side, but uh, still very pleasant to listen because you can hear all the frequencies, right? So here we calibrate it. So you see zeros, you see zeros. Uh, my first thought, like it's so bright. If it's really good, we use uh, THD. Okay, so it's THD for 400 gears for the right channel. It's 0.7%, 77, 78, okay. And on the left channel, it's 0.78%. Okay, and for 1000 gears, it's 1.1 uh, on the left channel, and 1.5 on the right channel. All right, so we are pretty good from the perspective of THD. Uh, what's next? Next, I like there is a scale remember and we've been looking so we recorded minus 10 decibel and this is a recorded signal and it's extremely linear right and comment was that um, oh you have a very big scale and you can't see anything okay let's go down to the one decibel per square and as you may see here we are like about one decibel range of the fluctuations on the white noise. And let's do frequency sweep to see it even better and see how this deck will respond on the different frequencies. So we're recording very low frequencies go lower, you see, because uh, uh, too low, like 10 gears is pretty hard to record, right? And then we are going up. And this slope is not from the deck, this slope is from the, my audio card, so it has a real slope below 100 gears. But you may see how well both channels are calling here, like they just follow each other on this new head. And overall difference over the whole range like is less than one decibel, see? Only after 16 kilogears on type 1 tape, we started to lose signal. Uh, and if we will switch to minus 20, I would need to change the scale. Okay, so we would be able to see minus 20. And let's see what we will have here. And it's very, very good results. I barely can see deck which can do such good recordings on Type 1 tapes. And I just check it, it records incredible on the Type 2 tapes. Right. So I see here, still less than one decibel up to 18 kilohertz. Pretty cool, right? And let's do zero decibel, or like minus six, to be fair. And minus six, we can increase scale even. Now, one square is one decibel. And you may see how precise it is. Like minus two decibel on 16 kilohertz on this level. Pretty astonishing. And let's do Dolby C. Let's see how it will affect.
This became even more even with the left right channel. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, minus one decibel <laughs> comparing to the other levels. Why? That's that's how good it is. Why? I hope I'm answering the question. Now, let's see. Recording wow and flutter. So probably the biggest issue we have is this deck. And let's go to advanced. Yeah, see, recorded is 0 0.14. Because it will double from the 0 0.08, like probably. Not not fully double, but make like 60% more than playback. And playback is not very good here, you see. So when we record and playback, we have 0 0.13, 0 0.13. 14%. I still cannot hear it, so I was listening to saxophone music, and it's good. I am was reading forums about this deck, uh, specifically about this tape transport, and guys recommend to use uh, tighter belts. So that's my point would be to check if more tight belts will improve the wound flutter. I'm currently trying to order belts uh, for 8.97 inch I believe longs let me see if I would be able and successful with that well that's it would be for this video hope you enjoyed it